my blood. That's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No, no. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe here's one of the best drivers in the business. 
She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. <laughs> but that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it <laughs> from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I don't know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the, the fate of, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So... We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Always locked. Ugh! <sighs> 
Hello. Uh, <clears throat> well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Claudia. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist. We find the ships and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm-hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways and you and I just... disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's... gonna be pissed. He's... gonna be fine. <clears throat> Trust me.
sure you're up for this? I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. We won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax? <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. This way. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble, I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah, I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is going to take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Yeah, fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. Right. Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. I'm sure you know where you're going. Don't I always? Don't you love the way the water makes your jeans all squidgy? It's like the good old days, isn't it? Yeah. When were those again? Oh, wait. This can't be right. We must have made a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> hey, now what do you bet that will take us right into the boiler room? And from there, we're in. Yeah, in like Flynn, right? What? In like Flynn. I don't get it. Just give me a boost. Here it comes. Thanks. Almost there. You ready? No guts, no glory. Here we go. We're good. Reach up there and grab the ladder. Okay, all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I dropped it down for you. This is the way to the courtyard. 
Well, we're not going this way. Not if you want to keep your skin. All right. There's got to be a shutoff valve around here somewhere. See if you can find it then. Are you mental? We've got to turn it off somehow.
You got it. Okay, now there should be a door just around this corner. That's our access point. Once we're through, just stick to the plan. You got me? Tell me you didn't miss this. <laughs> I'm here, aren't I? Locked. Good job I came prepared. <laughs> I pick more than my nose, my friend. Oh, wait! There's an alarm. Oh, that's new since last time. Ah, great. Now what? Well, I can disarm it if we can find the junction box. It's got to be around here somewhere. There. That ought to do it. All right, we're in. Shit. I got him. There's the tower. Yeah, but we can only get to it from the roof, and we can't get to the roof from here. We're gonna have to make our way to the next courtyard, through that gate over there. Well, let's do it. We've got to get up to that balcony. We can climb the gate over here. Got it. Gece vardiyasında çalışmaktan nefret ediyorum. 
Haklısın abi. Hiçbir şey olmuyor. Bazen o kadar canım sıkılıyor ki uyanık kalmakta zorluk çekiyorum. Müze şu an da kapalı. Vardiyen ne zaman bitiyor? Daha çok var. 15 dakikaya kadar bitiyor. İşler nasıl bu aralar? Bugün epey bir sessiz. Okay, we're almost there. Duyuluyoruz. Kaçmaya çalış. Damn. Yakaladım. Kaçamayacak. Okay, we're almost there. Lock and light. You go left. Should be able to lift this up. Sneak right under. Whoa, whoa! Not so fast. There's another alarm. Oh, great. You want to get this one? Wait here.
lights off. this courtyard to get onto the roof. Okay, I'll just let you do all the ass kicking, all right? Right. Head for the fountain. Yabancı! Damn it! Köşeye sıkıştırın! Head for the fountain. Selam Aka. Bu gece nasılsın? Yorgunum. Transfer olmamış mıydı? Lights out. Now we just gotta find a way up to that window. Which window? There's a lot of bloody windows. Now what? It's time to tip the odds back in our favor. Oh, that's brilliant. Guns? What are you thinking? Relax, Gandhi. They're tranquilizer guns, totally non-lethal. Your conscience will remain unscathed. Oh, well, good idea. Great. Okay, a little bit of advice. These things have lousy range, so we still have to get in close. You okay with that? Know how to shoot a gun, genius. All right. All right, let's take these guys out. Bizim taşımamızı beklemiyorlar umarım. Bu bizim görevimiz. Okay, steady. This could help. <gasps> Give me a hand, will ya? There. 
That'll work. Now all we need is a horse. Those rafters will get us onto the roof, if we can get up there. Good thing one of us thought ahead, eh? Oh, yours. Hey, a lad, you got it. Thanks, mate. <gasps> Come on. All right, all right. I'm coming. I think I'm going to take the elevator next time.
All right, there's the tower. Getting closer. Appreciate that update, Captain Obvious. There's a guy above you, there's a guy above you. There's a guy below you, there's a guy below you. Great view. I can see your house. Let's get moving. There's a guard right below you.
Orda. Oh, shit. Onu köşeye sıkıştırdık. Can't get any closer with the tower lit up like that. What the hell is she doing? Come on, Chloe. <laughs> That's my girl. Ladies first. Ah, <laughs> cute. Here we go. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, and there's the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off if we so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Voila. <laughs> All right. Now we're sure it's the right one. I guess there's only one way to find out. Sorry, Marco. Statement of the year. This is it. It's bloody useless. The light of the great Khan. Wait a minute. What are you doing? It's resin. It'll burn. And? Just give me your lighter. What? Is that really a good idea in here? And? Let me see that. Our ships were driven by a great flood tide into the wilds of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. Yeah, somewhere off the west coast of Borneo. Oh, great. That narrows it down a bit. Uh, look, this mountain must have been the closest landmark where they went aground. We find that mountain. We find the ships. Yeah, good work, mate. Uh, wait, wait, there's more. Okay, Joe. As if the ocean itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo we carried from Shem... Bala. The curse of the Chintamani. Would that mean something to you? Shambhala? Oh my god, Flynn. What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La. You're joking. If they were carrying the Chintamani stone, it might still be there. It's all very fascinating, but we really gotta go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. Wait, Flynn, we had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. Uh, come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, right. You're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? So what are you gonna do, shoot me now? No, I just need you out of the way for a little while. <laughs> You think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flynn, listen. Face it, genius. You've been played. Ah, uh ah, -uh, not yet. I want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? Flynn. Hemen çıkışları 
Carpenter! Copy you, Carpenter! Oh, no, no, no! Okay, armor. now I'm screwed. Think. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, this way, this way. All right. Use your head, Nate. Use your head. Out of here. There, we go. there we go. Gotta get to that ladder. <laughs> See you, suckers. You overlooked one little detail, didn't you, partner? What? Face it, genius, you've been played. Oh, really? <gasps> hey, hey, hey! Jackass, you're ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How are you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So, I had to grease a few palms. Did go through the rest of your money, and a good chunk of my own, but hey. <laughs> Jesus, you stink. Yeah, not half as bad as that cigar. Yeah. Hey, how'd you find me? Well, a uh, friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn minute. Hear her out. Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully, but you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Ooh. Last cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. You know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first yeah, place, I wouldn't have been rotting in this shithole for Listen, the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. I told you. He's not going to listen to me. Screw this. Nate. They found the ships. In Borneo? Yes. And the Chintamani stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Lazarevich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together all along. All right, then. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're going to get us into that dig site. We are going to snatch that treasure right out from under them. They'll never see it coming. Yeah, we'll pay back some bitch. Look, they called it the wish-fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. What, like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue, larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Ooh, that's gotta be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say there's more of this? Loads more. Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. <laughs> if I can get a look at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be an inside job. From someone they know and trust. Oh. Okay, I see where this is going. I just need a diversion. You give me five minutes in that tent, that's all it'll take. Really? Five minutes? Well, that's great. I won't even have to get my top off. Chloe, I was thinking more like an explosion. Or that can be arranged. Are you in? Oh, hell yes. I was in before you were.
Chloe, you reading us? Loud and clear. We're getting close. <clears throat> okay, I've planted charges all around the perimeter of the camp. You two just need to arm them. The first one should be right ahead of you. Here it is. I also left the detonator for you. Uh-huh. There we are. All right. First one set. Don't touch the button. This one? <laughs> Once you've set all the charges, just hit the detonator and it's showtime. <laughs> They'll never know what hit them. Just be careful. Nazarovich has got his men posted all around the perimeter. Keep an eye out for patrols. <sighs> I'm sweating like a hooker in church. You brought a hooker to church? Why not? Hey, careful! Up ahead! Don't let them spot you! Let's take these guys out. Quietly. Swing across there. <laughs> Maybe you can. All right, hold on, Grandpa. See if I can find another way up. Approaching excavation site one by now. So you've been back by now. Shit. 
We'll be getting close to the first camp. I've planted four more charges in there, but you're going to have to clear the place out before you can arm them. There's nothing out here. When will he give up? Was that it? Give up? Remember Here's the camp. You ready for this? We've Let's do it. What else does he expect to find? Don't let Lazarevich hear you talking like that.
Come on, kid, quit screwing around. We haven't armed all the charges yet. Still got to arm three of the charges. <sighs> there should be only two left. One more, and we're out of here. Come on, kid, quit screwing around. We haven't armed all the charges yet. <clears throat> okay, ah! that's all of them. Now, let's go pay Mr. Lazard a visit. Come on over here, I'll give you a boost. All right. Come on, gorgeous, jump up. Yep. You got a great ass, Sully. Thanks. There you go, kid. All right. Ooh, that must have been some tsunami to wash these ships so far inland. Pop is down again. Uh, the damn thing is always breaking down. Come on, let's just fix it so we can get out of here. Look, they're not armed. Well, not that many. What are we waiting for? We can take these guys. I don't know, Sully. Maybe. Ah! <laughs> Sully! 
Enough of this frivolity, kid. Come on, we got work to do. What does frivolity mean? What do you bet we follow the hose? We find the camp. You always follow the hose. Just like in Montreal, huh? You're never gonna forget that, are you? I see the camp up ahead. Okay, you ready? Wait, wait, just hold on a sec. Three months and you have found nothing. Well, well, well now wait, wait a minute. We've been commander. Must be Lazarevich. This man was caught stealing artifacts from site number five. <laughs> you would betray me for this? No, no, Zoran, I can't explain. No, no, need no need. <laughs> What do you say we really ruin this guy's day? Do it. Run out! Search the perimeter! Go! All right, it's all yours, kid. I'll cover you from here. Enough of this shit. This Lazarevich guy isn't screwing around, Sully. You should see all this stuff. He's got files on every expedition to find Shambhala. All the way back to the 1600s. What about Marco Polo's journals? <laughs> Here they are. Just hurry it up. You haven't got much time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worthy pilgrim is granted a golden passport to conquer obstacles on his journey to Shambhala. Huh. Is that supposed to mean something? Beats me. Hold on. Here we go. It was with great sorrow that I left my fellow travelers to their fate. A fate decreed by the dreadful cargo we bore from Shambhala. You must have thought that tsunami was some kind of divine retribution. Wait a minute. Damn. Sully, I don't think the Chintamani stone is here. What? 
Listen to this. I, I would have sooner endured the wrath of Kublai Khan himself than remove the Chintamani stone from that sacred shrine. Marco Polo never had the stone. Then what dreadful cargo is he talking about? I don't know. Well, if the stone's not here, what the hell is Lazarovich looking for? Shambhala. Here in Borneo? He's a little wide of the mark, don't you think? He must be trying to pick up Marco Polo's trail. Back to Shambhala. Why? <laughs> because the stone is still there. <sighs> Chloe, can you talk? Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. In all this digging they've done, have they found any bodies, any remains at all? No, now that you mention it, nothing. Why? <laughs> Over 600 people were shipwrecked here, yet there's no bodies. Don't you find that a little odd? So where did they all go? Where would you go if a tsunami hit? To higher ground. Bingo. We head to that mountain. What do you bet we find Marco's pals? Chloe, can you meet up with us? Already on my way. Great. Uh-oh. Nate, you gotta get out of there. You're gonna have to give me a minute, Sully. You don't have a minute. What's this? They're all dead. Oh, crap! Right out! Stay down, kid. I got you covered. Huh. Oh, Nate. Over here. You. Well, that's right convenient. Out.
I got you, Sully. Should be this way. Oh, Sully. Look at these stones. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Would you look at that? Oh, yeah. Hey. Hello. What do we have here? With any luck, 
the last resting place of Marco Polo's crew. Shall we check it out? This place must be thousands of years old, at least. Down this way. Wow. Looks like we hit the jackpot. Ugh, there must be hundreds of bodies down here. Look at their teeth. They're all black. I think they're all that way. They must have taken refuge here during the tsunami. There's got to be some sort of clue around here. Ah! Hey, I think I found something. In here. What? They must have carried their cargo all the way up here after they were shipwrecked. More resin. I've seen this before. Sully, give me a light. Oh. Ooh. Wait a minute. This is blood. It's everywhere. Looks like a real massacre. All right, let's follow the blood stains. We'll see if they lead somewhere. end at this wall. Yeah, that's odd. This moves a little. Sully, help me out. Here we go again with the pushing. I think I hurt myself. The trail leads in here. More bodies. Maybe I'm crazy, but it looks like they all killed each other. Come on, mate. You're just getting spooked. Wow. Look at this. What do we have here? Nate, you're gonna give me a goddamn heart attack. 
Oh. Man, is that an ugly friggin' thing. What is it? Some kind of weapon? No, no, it's a, a perba. It's a ritual object from Tibet. It's used to destroy obstacles. Huh? No, you know, spiritual ones. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, could this be what Marco Polo was talking about? Kid, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> In his journal, he wrote that uh, the worthy seeker would be given a golden passport to conquer obstacles on the journey to Shambhala. So, what, this is it? Look, that's all really interesting, but where the hell is it a passport to? Well, maybe this map would help. Let me see that. <laughs> Between Greater India and the province of Tibet lies a field of exquisitely finished temples. Hundreds of gilded spires stretching as far as the eye can see. Hold on, I know this place. It's in Nepal. Yeah, except it's not just a field of temples anymore, it's a city. Well, that could make things a little more challenging. Now, hold on, there's more. In all these many temples, only one conceals the secret path to Shambhala. And that path shall only be revealed to the pilgrim who bears the golden passport. All <laughs> right, nice work, kid. So what are we waiting for? Let's get out of here. All right. See ya. Let's get going. I'm going to go out and make sure the coast is clear. I'll see you in a bit. Get your hands up. You sure know how to pick them. Shut up, Sonny. Should have known it was you. <laughs> and you, Victor Goddamn Sullivan. You still dragging this tired old sack of shit around? Easy, Nate. That's pretty ballsy for a guy who spent the last three months behind bars. Better than pissing away three months in the jungle without a clue. Found the ships, though, didn't I? You couldn't find your own ass with both hands. And a map. They came from down there. Whoa. Harry, look at this. Speaking of maps... Between India and Tibet... One temple will reveal a... Pathway path to Shambhala. Jesus, Flynn, while we're young. Oh, no. Don't be such a bad sport. Take them to Lazarevich. You're gonna wish you'd stayed in prison, mate. Move. Come on, keep moving. <sighs> <sighs> Are you all right? Yeah, well, it'll make it look more believable. Now I'm going to try and buy you some time. No, Chloe, you have to come with us. No. Just meet me in Nepal. Now run. Let's go. I like her. Yeah, I bet you do. Shit! They spotted us! Run for it! <laughs> Jump? 
Oh, hold on there, son bitch. You gotta be out of your mind. We'll break our goddamn necks. Yeah. If we get caught, Lazarevich will break them for us. I'm getting too old for this bullshit. Oh, come on, now don't you start this again. Listen, I don't have your luck. Guys like me gotta know when to walk away from the table. Sully, we're gonna get out of this, okay? We always do. Yeah. You go meet your girl in Nepal. I'm going somewhere warm. Come on. Hey, you can tell me all about it when you get back. There they are! Oh, shit. Well, shall we? After you, Butch. See you in hell, kid. <laughs> shit. You said Lazarevich had a head start on us. You weren't kidding. Well, he's had some help from the local guerrillas. The city's been on the brink of civil war for years. He just needed to throw a little gasoline on the fire. Charming. Yeah, well, all the chaos provides some cover while he destroys the city looking for the right temple. Nate? Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. You're not having second thoughts, are you? Oh, me? Never. Good, because I'm so ready to be done with these clowns. You got a map? Uh, yeah. I'll meet you in the old market. Things are pretty quiet over there. All right, you got it. Uh-oh. We got company. Oh, great. Can you lose them? I think it might be too late for that. Come on. Nate, are you all right? I've been better. Okay. The old market. Ought to be this way. Find him. Crap. <clears throat> go, go, go! Oh, he's here somewhere. Keep your eyes open. <laughs> Okay, now we just gotta find Chloe.
not going that way. It looks like that'd get me up there. Parking job. Thank you. 